Hello, everybody. Again, thank you, Console Kev, for the raid. Thank you, Stitched and Static, for being here. Hype, hype, hype. Hey, hi, Car Rocco. Hi, Chase. How are you guys doing? Oh, thank you for the bits. Hey, Chris Levi, how are you doing? So many good people coming out right now. Hey, thank you for the host. Yeah, Stitch, can you catch up with all this? Yeah, uh, thanks for the shouting out Chase and Chris. And Static. <laughs> all the shout outs, so shout out everybody. Thank you for the host, Chris Levi. I appreciate it. So last time we played this, we did all of the forest missions. And then I tried to play through episode 2, and I'm still not strong enough to really get through um, episode 2. So we might have to do some um, cave quests um, to upgrade stuff. Yeah, no problem. My DMs are open, Carl. So I want to just do a few more levels of this, and then I have something fun. I played The Sims on Xbox uh, yesterday, and I was just having a blast. And then I stopped, and I was like, wait a minute, I should be streaming this. So I didn't save, so we can start over, and you could... It, it, was, it was pretty funny. It's much different than the PC version. It's more streamlined. Like, you actually, like... It's almost like an RPG in a way. You have to like level up. You pretty much start with nothing and you gotta move out of your mom's house, get enough money to move out, and then you gotta renovate like the crappy little house you have, and then you gotta get a job, and then you gotta get the promotion from your job. So it's like, it's, it, they made it like progressive, which is kind of funny. Um, there's still free reign though. Yeah, it's just it it was it was I didn't expect it to be like that though. So. Oh, it's the first one. The first one. They made a second one and then they made the busting out, I think. It's hard to keep track. Like I lost track of all the No, Carl, this is Xbox. There was a PSO... Oh, I like that she healed me. There was a PSO on a uh, PC called uh, Blue Burst. Um, I think uh, modders have kept that alive. Um, but uh, the servers were cut off a while ago. But you can... I tried to install Blue Burst and it just didn't work for me for some reason. Because um, modders, they modified the installer, so it just works on modern PCs and stuff. It just, for some reason, didn't work for me. Um, but I'm okay with that because I mostly, I don't know, when I used to play this, I played offline anyway. So I'm cool with it. I haven't played Busting Out on GBA. I'm going to try that out.
Hmm. Maybe she will open the door for me. But there doesn't seem to be anywhere to go. No, sometimes the NPCs um, or your partners will like open locked doors for you. Oh, silly me. I thought I hit that. Okay. So, Static, you're gonna play Doom? I thought you were gonna play Pokemon. Or are you gonna play both? your switch stock that is really weird is it like an elgato thing or does like the literally the switch stock doesn't work no matter what Switch stock doesn't stay on. So like when you, when you when you put the switch in the dock, it just like shows the the UI, but then it just goes blank. That's weird. I was acting weird the other day too. I put the switch in the dock and it acted like it was still in handheld. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, have you tried, um, turning off the switch? Like, not putting it in sleep mode, but just turning it off? And then putting it in the dock? It could, and, and they, they put out, um... An update recently that could have screwed things up because I from my experience anytime there's a, an update to anything it always screws everything up doesn't matter what it is So my goal here is to try to get a, a better weapon or a better upgrade to my magic or something. Just something that would help me get through episode 2. Uh, let me see. Some. Let me see how the mag is doing. Mag is starving. Defense. Uh, paralysis maybe? No, uh, mono, yeah. Moon Automizer. Uh, PSN update made everything slow and laggy as long as it works. For this. Oh yeah, I'm hyped for that. I think that game is going to be a lot of fun. It literally looks like a mix of like Breath of the Wild and Hyrule Warriors. Oh, I love that she healed the paralysis. That was awesome. Are you looking forward to uh, Age of Calamity, Rocco? Keep calling you Rocco. Car Rocco. Hey, evil guy. Thank you for the host.
Okay, I think I went full circle here. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's what's cool. Like, I, I was always wondering, like, what what happened the uh, 100 years before uh, Breath of the Wild. So I'm glad that we finally get to see that. Uh, look at the map. Yeah, I'm doing good, evil guy. Just started a little bit ago. Trying to level up my force here. Because I find episode 2 is still too tough. So I'm just doing episode 1 missions to try to level up. Because episode 2 is what I really want to go through. Because I, I, you know, if you guys have been following me, I, I went through all these missions on the Dreamcast version. I did a lot of streams of um, PSO. So I did all this. Even though it's still fun, I just kind of wanted to jump into episode 2. But... Nope. Yeah, it is. So, I'm just leveling up. It's not bad, though. I, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Plus, playing through this is different just using... Uh, just playing as a force. It is different. Where I, I was playing through this as the hunter. So. Okay, let's see if I have anything that I need to upgrade. Still have the best frame, it has three slots. Uh, I don't have another barrier. Hey, Strength for Life, thank you for the host. Uh, hmm, maybe Antidote? Yes, Antidote. Oh, I don't even remember. I'm trying to remember. It's been so long because I, I played through all this on the GameCube when it first came out. That was a long time ago. So I don't even remember the final part of Episode 2. That's why I want to like replay through this so I can remember. I bet it will look familiar to me once I get through. No problem. Enter Lurk Mode, Carl. Stitch. <laughs> Is he gonna stream uh, Batman Dark tomorrow? I don't even know if I should go back to that. I feel like I was torturing you guys by streaming that. But I do want to continue it. Maybe I'll just continue it off stream. But I do want to keep playing that. But I feel like nobody cared. But maybe I'm wrong. Because it is, it is a bad game. It's not good. But I, I was still intrigued by it. Uh, yeah, it's weird how you can't defeat enemies because they have like infinite health. You can only like knock them down. Hello, cure me. Why is she just standing there? There we go. Uh, it was just weird that you can't defeat enemies. You just have to zip tie them. Like in theory, I guess that makes sense because you know Batman is, you know, he doesn't kill. He, he like he arrests. I get it. But it was just a very in, very strange um, gameplay mechanic to have to constantly be doing it. Like you have to beat up like a whole bunch of people and then like individually handcuff them. It's really weird. Oh look, we found others. No thank you, I'm busy. 
What? You're looking for a ranger? Sorry. Well, I think he was going this way. Did you see it? There was a capsule with some messages inside. Frightening. I'm not even reading the capsule messages because I don't care. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ow. Mind, I think that would be monofluid. And I'm out of monofluid, which is not good. We might have to uh, use a telepipe and uh, get some more. Thank you to the 10 people watching. I appreciate it. Oh, are we headed out to Forest 2? I mean, Cave 2? Yeah, Cave 2. Yeah, I noticed the Xbox loads this way faster. With the Dreamcast, you definitely have to wait a little bit for that. Yeah, how you doing, evil guy? Anything planned for today? Whoa. Okay. I would like to see you stream some PSO. I keep getting night power. I would like to get something else that's, like, not the right... Thing to get for a force. I'm not. I don't really need physical strength. All right. So I'm going to need to teleport out of here. Oh, I got a, a, a try grinder. I'm going to wait till I get a weapon that I really like and use that on it. No, this is the Xbox version. D. I should say it in the title. Did my title not update? Alright. Have you... Did you, um... Un, did you install, um, Blue Burst? Because I had issues installing it. 
I would like to know if uh, you were able to do it. You could also run the GameCube one on Dolphin. I haven't used a Dolphin emulator, but apparently you can play GameCube and Wii games really well. There's a server, I forgot what it's called. The server has like their custom install for the game. That's the one I tried and it just didn't work for me. I'm gonna hold on to this, oh, I don't need the saber. I'm gonna hold on to the saber, the handgun. Uh, what is a handgun three? I'm not gonna waste money on that. Need mono fluid. Moon atomizers, I will buy. Oh, that is expensive. I don't know if I want to buy that. Pound of dew. I want to feed it to the mag, so. That saber is. I'm feeling like there's traps here. Wow. Finally, woohoo, level up. This is my favorite, like, area because I like the um, environment, I like the graphics, but yeah, the, the enemies are tough here. I still want to explore a little bit before we end the mission. See, more night power. I've gotten like 10 of those. Ooh, rod two. I'll take that. Giga frame. Wait a minute. But it only has one slot. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. Oh, it is. 
All right, I'll use the Giga Frame and I'll use one of these. I'm not using any of these attack power-ups anyway. So I'll use the Giga Frame. Change to the Rod 2. What we'll do is after this mission, we'll could check out episode 2, see how far I can get. I got pretty far. But there's these enemies, I forgot what they're called, that they um they look like um Go golems sort of like these like, and then they just kind of he like shot out his arm and then it, it killed me in like one hit and i was like uh oh so that guy definitely have to like somehow dodge his attack and and kind of attack from afar because that was that was brutal Yeah, paralysis is the tough one. I gotta make because yeah, there's a lot of those poison flower thingies. I need to um make sure I have enough. How many do I have? I don't have any. I need to buy some paralysis stuff. I think if I sell all those attack things, I should have enough money to just stock up on paralysis. Yeah, and this is a challenge for me, because usually I, I play as a, a ranger or um, a hunter. So, um, it's kind of nice to mix it up, but yeah, it is challenging. Yeah, I feel like I am doing good damage. I was worried at first. I was like, uh-oh, I don't know if I can uh, play through this as a force. But I haven't had that much trouble. And I think because I've played the game many times, so I, I know how to get around things. But it is different to, to play without resorting to melee. I'm just used to that, so this is a little different. I can't wait till I upgrade my uh, techniques. I'm still on like the level one techniques. I would like to level up so I can um, attack all of those boxes at once. Like when I upgrade the lightning, that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, let's see. I wonder at what point my mag will evolve again. It, it evolved once already. It was just like a green circle and now it's like oval shaped. Um, I like the mag I got on my um, my Dreamcast file because it looks like um, it has like wings. That one's pretty cool. And um, on PSO2, I have the Dreamcast mag, which is pretty cool. That was exclusive for people that played the beta. Oh, a cane five. Wait a minute. Let me. Let me. Actually, I don't want the cane. I want the rod. Oh, I hate that slime thing. Magic management, yeah, that's the problem. Because uh, if you notice, I'm not using the, the the techniques to boost my attack and my um, my defense is because like I don't have it hotkeyed because I don't have much space. I wish there was a way to like have access to them quicker. I mean, I couldn't. I mean, I, I can do it this way, but it's really cumbersome. And then I have to remember, wait, what? What? what is shift again? What's D-band again? Um, so I know these two bring up your defense and um, attack. And then these 
lower the attack and defense of your enemies. I know that. I forgot what Reversi is. Is Reversi like a telepipe? I think. And these are the good ones. These are the light and the and the dark magic. Um, these only forces can learn those, which is cool. So I'm looking forward to that, but I have to be much higher level to use those. I don't know if I even should go back for those boxes. I don't think there's anything that great in there. Yeah. Oh, revive. I think that's what it is. But I feel like there was a telepipe technique. Anyway, I think we're done here. I'm not I'm not going over there. Come on. Talk. Yeah, that's going to be the fun one. You can kill everything with that. Hey, hi, I love you. Uh... You were streaming Game Boy Advance games? Oh, cool. What games did you play? I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> Is there a Dark Tomorrow 2? I hope not, because that means I would have to play it. Um, I got my pile of Xbox games here. He's referring to this masterpiece. I don't know. Maybe I should jump back into that and torture you guys. Poyo Poyo. Oh, that's good. Sonic Advance. You know, hey, if you want a recommendation, try Sonic Pinball Party. That game is really good. Way better than Sonic Spinball on the Genesis. I didn't like Sonic Spinball, but... Sonic Pinball Party was actually really good. You played that too? Oh, awesome. Okay, I gotta check out your uh, VODs. A cane 8? That's really high. Hmm. I'm not sure if I should keep that. I'm getting these nice powers. Okay, got that, got that. I think I'm good. I think that's good. Oh, okay. Do you um do you upload your uh, archives to YouTube? I think it is good to just kind of keep a backup of it somehow. And you can edit it. You could cut out like the long setup, anything you want to cut out. I need I need a lot of paralysis. Should I I should max out paralysis. I'm gonna need it if I do episode two. Alright, we're gonna go get get out of my way. Oh my god, you're in my way. Oh, you don't have a PC to edit, so it's kind of rough. Oh, all right. No problem. You could do edits in YouTube Studio. It's it's annoying, but you can do that. You could upload the whole thing to YouTube, and then you could do an edit within the whatever. But if you don't have a PC to even... Because you can't do that on mobile. You could only do that in the, a PC browser. I, I really don't like YouTube Studio. It's terrible. Like, I don't... I try not to use it if I have to. Okay, so we're going to... Save. I really like going back and forth between PS1 and 2. Like, I don't know. I guess some people may would just want to go... Um, just want to do one, but I don't know. I like jumping back and forth.
Okay. So... I think I have money on me. I'm gonna deposit it because... I don't want to hold on to all this. There we go. And... Let me see if I should... Yeah, that's how I feel. I just kind of been going with the flow. I've just been kind of just playing whatever I feel at the moment. Just like I really felt like playing PSO right now because I want to continue on with this. So that's what I'm doing. And after this, I will be playing The Sims. I played a little bit of this and I was like, it was so funny. And I'm like, I got to show you guys The Sims. This was really funny. How was Dead Space Extraction? I've never played that. I remember when that came out on the on the Wii. And they ported it to the PS3, I think. I think it used the uh, PS Move controllers. Ow! It turned into a Jill sandwich. Wow, I killed him one hit now. That's that's a good sign. That's a very good sign. <laughs> yeah, those things were weird. They they big glowing ball on, on the on the top of that thing. So it's like, look, we're not copying the the Wii. The Wii modes don't have a big glowing ball on the top of it. It just is Sony was making fun of of the Wii motes and the motion controls, and then they go and copy them. Same thing with Xbox and the Connect. You know, I think the entire industry was laughing. I was like, "Oh, it's called Wii. It sounds so stupid." And I, I everyone was making fun of them, and then they all start copying when they saw like how successful it was. But, you know, but to be fair, I wasn't a huge fan of the Wii. I thought the Wii U was a better console. But because of so many issues, the Wii U failed. But, uh, I don't know, I thought the... I thought they improved on a lot of things. Ow. Oh. That's not what I meant to do. You didn't have fun with the Wii U stitch? My, the, the games that I had the most fun with the Wii U was Nintendo Land and Game & Wario. Those games actually utilized the gamepad properly. And Zombie U, yeah. Yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles X also. Awesome game. Okay. Oh my god. Splatoon, yeah, Splatoon was great. Yeah, I agree, Evil Guy. It was a. They just made a lot of mistakes and they were not able to uh, fix it. And uh, I, I really don't understand why they did certain things. Uh, with that, I, I'm really confused by that. But they, they definitely did a terrible job marketing the system. Defense. Uh... Yep, 
What's this? You still have your Wii U, right? So we could do some multiplayer and stuff. Maybe that would change your opinion on the Wii U. It would be a little more fun. Do you have Splatoon? We could, Because I would like to do a Splatoon 1 stream at some point. Because I'm so used to Splatoon 2, and I just I want to remember the differences. You know, I, I've been looking for a CDI, and I, they're expensive, but I would love to, you know, play the, the 3D Zeldas. Those are the only Zeldas I haven't played. So I would love to play those crappy CD Zeldas, and yeah, I want to play Hotel Mario. That would be a fun stream, wouldn't it? Who the, who the fuck streams Hotel Mario? I'll have the market covered. I wonder if Miyamoto ever played Hotel Mario. They're like, what is this crap? I would pay money to see Miyamoto play Hotel Mario. I love that I killed these guys with one hit. It is so good. I'm overpowered. Ow. Let me get out of the way. Just burn everything, problem solved. Ooh. Well, I think you could read burn disc. I don't know, can't... I think the CDI can read burn discs, can it? I don't know. I, I, I want, like, the actual hardware, though. I would buy, like, a CDI, and then I would probably just make burn copies of... Because if you were to buy the uh, Zelda games in Hotel Mario, it's expensive. But I don't know if Hotel Mario is expensive. I know the Zelda games are expensive. Oh no, see paralysis. Wait, what happened to all my anti-paralysis? Didn't I have a bunch of anti-paralysis? Oh, I got cured of anti-paralysis. How did that happen? Oh, I got poisoned. Oh, oh yeah. Somebody told me that trick. I think Evil Guy, you told me that trick, right? When you're uh, paralyzed, you get poisoned and it gets rid of paralysis. Yeah, thank you for that, uh, tip. I did it by accident just now, but it worked out. Yeah, this area in particular is an- Oh! <gasps> what is that? A photon drop? Whoa, you saw that? A rare red, uh, icon. That is very rare. I forgot what the hell photon drops do. Let me see. High purity crystal photon. There is someone who needs this. Oh, do you remember what this is? Uh, evil guy? Because this looks like a good one that I just got. I think you find a guy like a weapon maker and he makes you a weapon with those photon drops. Is that correct? Yes, Carl. I streamed PSO2. Uh, I was part of the beta. And because I was part of the beta, I got a mag that looks like a Dreamcast. So it was really cool to just have like a little Dreamcast on my shoulder floating around. I wasn't crazy about PSO2 because what happens is I don't play MMOs. So I was very confused with the layout. There was a lot of menus, like menus on top of menus. And it was super confusing. The gameplay itself I liked. It's just, I was just, I'm a noob when it comes to all that. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll might do another stream of it at some point. I also want to play Genesis, New Genesis, which is the add-on they're putting on top of it. It's like a brand new game, but they're using... <laughs> photon drops are things to drop photons. Thank you, Kev. I needed to know that. 
it's a trade item or something. Oh, okay. So I might find a guy that has like a rare weapon and then I could use the photon drop. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to that. Yeah, I got the Dreamcast map. Yeah, Car, did you try PSO2? I want to. Did you have the same? There was there was just a lot going on. Like I, it made me want to play this. <laughs> it made me want to go back to this because I'm like, why did they make the game so complicated? Um, but uh, yeah, because it, it sucked. The gameplay itself, I thought was awesome. It was very fluid. It, it definitely harkened back to this gameplay. But. It was difficult to manage quests and the requests of, of some people and like, I don't know, I just found it kind of complicated. But um... Yeah, Chase knows. Yeah, Chase, you stopped playing, right? And, and if, if so, what was the reason that you stopped playing? Was it the menus? <laughs> because that's why I stopped. Oh, I gotta get another shot though, because I, I, I liked some elements of that game. It's just old and they never took time. Yeah, that's the problem. It's a game from 2013. It's literally a game from 2013. And it's like, couldn't you like update it? Like do something to it? I mean, I guess that's what they're doing with New Genesis. But again, why are you building on top of the old game? Just make a new game. I'm just very confused. Again, it's all making me want to go backwards, which is why I'm playing this. Quest tracking. Oh, yeah. I could... Because, yeah, so you would get a quest, and then you would fulfill the quest, and it's like, well, where's the person that I have to talk to to complete the quest? Oh, I died. So that's the problem. I, I complete all these quests, but I couldn't find the person to talk to. They don't tell you where the person is. So then, why am I completing all these quests? I can't get the XP because I can't turn in the quests. It was really stupid. At least this, you have a quest counter. You have a girl there, you talk to her, and then you could send in the quests. Like, why couldn't they do it that way where all of the quests were at one central place instead of going to freaking hunt down the person that gave you the quest? Quest yeah, you know what? That was my problem with Xenoblade. The first Xenoblade Chronicles where... You would get these quests, you would fulfill the quests, you couldn't find the person. I had a problem in the in the forest. You know the forest where the, the little Neoponds are? That Neopon village was huge and it had so many different Neoponds that had quests. I could never find the Neopon that I that gave the quest to. And also some would only appear during the day and some would only appear during the night. So you really couldn't find anybody. It was crazy. I heard they fixed that with the the switch port, I think. But that that drove me nuts. And also there were certain items. It's like, go find this item. Great, where? Oh, in this giant area. Oh, okay. So then you're running around for hours looking for this item to randomly spawn. And it's just like, oh god. So yeah, again, I really like Xenoblade Chronicles, but the quest management, it, it bothered me a lot. Yeah, Evil Guy, they were like, oh yeah, they blew the dust off of PSO2. Yeah, you Americans would like this. Here. Use a guide. Uh, yeah, I, the guide didn't really help too much with certain things, like finding items. It's like, go find it in this area, but it's a giant area and this randomly spawns. So it's like, you have to be there at night when the, the moon is blue and the planets are aligned. And then, you know, it's just like... It's, a, lot, a lot of the item drops were random. That's the problem. Monster Hunter Rise is going to be huge. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be a good community game. I think people will be on a, you know, do missions together and, and stuff, which I think Monster Hunter World is also a good community game. Oh, Resident Evil 6. I never played that one. I, 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 I skipped that. I never played Resident Evil 5 either. I was just kind of turned off by uh, the direction they went in. Maybe one day. 
I will uh, go down that road. No, I want to buy... Oh, I don't have enough money. No wonder. I was like, what's going on? I knew to stay away from that Pokemon DLC. You know, for, I, I kept waiting for them to sell it to me. I was kind of like... All right, I see the reveal. I saw. I, I still don't see what's the point of DLC. And then they kept doing more reveals and showing more trailers. And I'm like, I, it's still not selling it to me. Like, what? Wh why should I get this DLC? Like, I just wasn't. It didn't look like anything I needed. I kind of. I liked Pokemon Sword Shield for what it was. Um, I didn't feel like I needed more of that. I felt like. Alright, this is not the Pokemon I wanted, but I liked it for what it was, but I don't need more. I, I was kind of good. You plugged in so many hours of PSO2 and loved it, and it will completely acknowledge the interface was terrible. Uh, yeah, Evil Guy, I would probably go back to it, it's just I've been distracted by so many games, but... um. Uh, Stitch, you heard someone say that Tundra made the DLC worth it. I also thought it was kind of scummy to kind of like make you buy both DLCs where the only good one was the second one. Like that's not, that's kind of scummy. You still don't think you'll buy it? It's a glorified fetch quest and focus on legendaries. And also, yeah, there, you, you uh, automatically get the legendary. You just throw the Pokeball and you get it. And I think like that sucks. That takes out the fun. Remember how many Pokeballs that we would go through with trying to catch the legendaries? You want to save your Master Ball from like maybe you too, a Mewtwo, but then you were like wondering, like, oh, should I use it on the legendary? You know, like there was strategy involved. Now it's like, just throw the Pokeball and you catch it. Strength, don't make me... I'll, I'll put that game on right now. I'll, I'll put on Batman Dark Tomorrow and I'll torture... Uh, you, you'll watch the uh, the view counter go down. The view counter will go down to, to one and it'll just be you. They lowered the shiny rate. Yeah, her shinies were really easy to find in Let's Go Pikachu Eevee. And then all of a sudden, uh, it's more difficult. So oh, that was the wrong direction. Sixty balls on a Ridge of Steel. Oh, okay. I don't think Ridge of Steel is a legendary, right? So yeah, maybe that's why they balanced it out. They said we're gonna make legendaries easy to catch, and then these other Pokemon will make more difficult to catch. And maybe that was their way of uh, evening it out. Ow. Oh, this guy. Oh, no. Ow. <laughs> He's punched me. Ow. Thank you.
Oh no. I have to deal with the eggplants. Oh my god, get on my... You want Pokemon, Kev? But that's what really bothered me about um, Sword and Shield, where this was like the first Pokemon where they gave us like not as many Pokemon as in the others. You know what I mean? Like they gave um, oh no, they gave like half of the amount of new Pokemon that they usually give. So like that kind of sucked. Ow. There we go. Make the dumb excuses, kids games, so you have to... Yeah, that's the problem a lot of people have. They really dumbed it down. I mean, if you look at the original Pokemon games, they were, they were challenging. And now it's really super easy. It's like, oh, kids now are too stupid to uh, know how to get good. I mean, that, that's the attitude I see that they have. Kids are stupider now, so we have to dumb down the game. I was like, well, I don't know, maybe that's true. But also, I feel like more adults play Pokemon than kids. Kids are playing um, Minecraft and, and Fortnite and stuff. I mean, they have to understand that there are people that grew up playing Pokemon and it means a lot to them. And they follow Pokemon and they're still playing it. And they're like, fuck you adults that have nostalgia for Pokemon and keep up with the franchise. Fuck you. I mean, that's, that's how I feel. <laughs> Pokemon taught me how to read. I, yeah, you know what? I'm sure that, you know, it's like, why do I need to learn how to read? That reading is for nerds. Oh, wait a minute. I need to know how to play Pokemon. I need to know what's going on. So, yeah, I mean, it, I'm sure it was an encouraging thing for kids. It's like, this is why I have to know how to read. Uh, it seems like really good use. I agree with Kev. Um, people need to acknowledge that way more adults. Yeah, I feel that way. I feel like more adults play Pokemon than anyone else. And Nintendo just seems, or the Game Freak, the, the Pokemon company, whoever, is just really obsessed with marketing Pokemon to children. Um... I, I don't I don't know. I would love to know what the ratio is between adults and children that play Pokemon. I I really don't really hear about kids playing Pokemon really. They're all about the uh, the free to play stuff. When are we getting a Pokemon free to play? Oh, we have Pokemon Go. I feel like they're more likely to maybe play Pokemon Go. Remember when that was a thing? Remember when people cared about that? Yeah, that's the thing is, like, they're dumbing it down thinking that kids are not going to learn and figure it out. See, yeah, if you don't know what move does what or whatever, you figure it out. You learn it, you read it, you just trial and error, you figure it out. But Nintendo's like, no, you're too stupid, let's just spoon feed you. Yeah, how is that Temtem game? I think I, I saw you play Temtem, Chase. Is that still in beta, or what? what? I, I stopped hearing about it. Like, what's the status of Temtem? Oh, I, I, those things take a lot of help. Okay. Yeah, Kev, you've said that. I never got into Pokemon hacks. Oh, right. I'm, I, you see how confident Nintendo is. It's like, yeah, we'll release it on the Switch. Well, they allowed that, uh, 
Breath of the Wild clone on, on the Switch. How could how can you know, I don't think there's anything that would not come to the Switch. Nintendo just allows everything now. I need to cure my My cardboard Labo. What happened to Labo? Remember when Labo was a thing? Like everybody was talking about it. And all right, yeah, you're a Kickstarter um, backer, huh? Call Rocco. That is the uh, statistics for Pokemon players. I believe it. All right, Kev. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, oh my god. Could they throw some more enemies at me? Oh, run. Run. Run, I'm stuck. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Okay, I have an idea. No, that was not my idea. Oh no. Run. What I can do is do do this stuff. That will help. I'm gonna get out and spam, spam the controls. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Carl, thank you for dropping by. Yeah, you have a good day too. And Strength, did you buy the Labo? See, that does a timer. And then when the timer runs out... I don't know. Oh. Maybe I should go the other way. There's some items around here, I'm sure. Wait, nope. I don't want to get hit by it. Nope. Ow. Nope, it all links together. Okay. Oh, how about here? Should I do a, uh, a poll in the chat for the next game? What do you guys think about that? Yeah, this is that's why I was having trouble. This area is huge and it just won't end. And so that's why I've had to level up. Well, that was a dead end. Going circles. I guess I have to defeat all these guys. Look, I'm attacking through the wall. How did that happen? I'm still in the first area, by the way. This is not even the second area.
I have no... Uh... Okay. So, I think I will do a, uh, a, a poll. Uh, I think maybe the poll should only be like two options, right? Because we can't like, I don't know if we should divide it into so many different thingies. Uh... Mm. Aha! Oops, I hit the wrong button. New poll. Uh, all right. Oh, I did start poll and it said error. All right, so the poll did not work. I don't know, did they get rid of the poll thing or is it just malfunctioning for me? Feed it to the mag. And. Okay, I got plenty of those. I haven't been feeding my mag. Ugh, how terrible. Completely forgot. Please. There we go. Um... There we go. Oh no, the eggplant. There's too many enemies. There we go. Ow. <laughs> Shonky honker. Finally. Is it dead yet? There we go. Whew. All right. 
There we go. Oh, we're in the second area now. over here. Isn't that where I started? Ah, I go over here. What else are they going to throw at me? Oh no. Ooh, leveled up! Yeah, I mean, I love Fantasy Star Online, and I would love for this to be on the Switch. I would imagine being able to play online with other people on the Switch. That would be really cool. Um, it just it sucks that, you know, Sega hasn't figured out that people want to play these games. So... But Stitch, you could play the GameCube one um, on the Wii U. I think if you like mod, if you mod your Wii U, you could play it on there. And then there's the PC version, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh oh, he's pissed. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can play it on on the Wii. It just uh, there's ways of playing online with other people on there. There's um, but you have to use um a mod for that. 
It just sucks that the there's no legit servers for here. You just got the. Luckily, we have like homebrew servers and stuff, but I just wish Sega would support these games. I mean, even put it on mobile or something. Like, I don't know, do something with the original games. I have a feeling there's traps here. We're doing good. We're doing good. Yeah, evil guy. I just, I don't really understand. Um, they would make a lot of money with, a, with porting a lot of stuff to the Switch. That's what I don't understand. I mean, like, just put Crazy Taxi, put Fantasy Star Online, put uh, Space Channel 5, put uh, Sonic Adventure, but I can go on and on. All these great Dreamcast games... They would make so much money. They they just don't want money. Oh, Knight's Power again. Can I just get another one, please? It's not Knight's Power. Oh, poison me. Poison me. Hey, you. Hey, you, stupid flower. There we go. Yeah, they can release it as a collection. I mean, if they want to be greedy, they could, like, release them individually. It would still sell well. In any form, I would like it. I'm out of mono fluid, so this is gonna be rough. I'm gonna have to uh, leave and come back. Oh! I thought I could get through. No. Well, I had to go back anyway. <laughs> I turned into a pancake. And that's why you deposit your money, because I would have lost all my money right there. Alright, um... I got stuff to sell.
Oh, I didn't mean to sell my cane too. Oh man. Oh, that sucked. Uh oh. This is an upgrade. That's good to have. <laughs> yep. Oh, wait, wait. What did he have? What did he have? Uh, boost max HP by 10. That's a good one to have. Boost mine energy by 5. Hmm. I kind of want this one. But it's really expensive. I'll buy it. And then uh, we will need to equip it. There we go. I guess we'll just we'll use the cane. Oh, I still have my rod. Oh, okay, good. I thought I sold it. Let me sell. So let's see what uh technique that was. I think that was lightning. Yes, we got the more powerful lightning technique. Awesome. So that uh, lightning technique, we could take out multiple enemies and also be able to destroy multiple boxes. So that's cool. Oh no, I meant... <laughs> See what happens when you rush? I meant to go to the beta, not the alpha. Luckily, loading is so fast on the Xbox version. Look at this. This is so quick. Yes, mine too. Beta. I don't even know if I was going down the right path, so I'm okay starting from the beginning of this area. Because I don't know where I was going. That's why I decided to do this run as a force, because I usually play as a hunter, because I like the melee weapons. I like using the lightsabers. Oh. But I'm like, you know what? I want to make it more challenging because playing as a force and just using techniques is really challenging. Um, especially like juggling the, um, the techniques like with Evil Guy said. It's going to be more difficult as I progress because I'm just stuck with these three right now. And if I want to use other ones, I have to go down this menu. I think this is the right way. Uh oh. Oh, did I never break this wall? How disappointing. Wow. How come this door is locked? Hmm. They do. So it is, um, this one. Shifta and D-Band. These two bring up your defense and your attack. And then Jelen and Zalor, they bring down the defense and attack of your enemy. I don't know what Zyluker is, or Rearkir, uh, and Reversi, Reverser. Those two, I'm kind of confused on what those are. These are the two strongest magics. Grants is the light, and uh, Megid is the dark. These are the strongest. Only forces can learn those. So yeah, hype, hype, hype. 
So that's why I really want to level up this character so I can uh, have access to those. I think this is where I died. Yeah, I turned into a, a John Pancake right here. Not, we're back where we were. Oh no, I hate those things. Oh, this is tough. Those things take a lot of health. Okay, so I need to run. 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 Okay. Uh-oh, he's pissed. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Run, run, run. Woo! Okay, I got you the worst of it. Yeah, this part's- Oh, that thing killed me last- My last run, that thing killed me. 68 attack. Okay, I think- I think I need to use lightning. Yeah. Yeah, you have to run around it. Now I'm remembering. When I first encountered these, I was like, how do I beat these things again? You can't let them stand. Oh, you can't let them stand in front of you because they do that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Let me run away. Okay. <laughs> you think I seem under level? I can do it. I can do it. The only thing that's stopping, uh, bothering me is those those turret things with the fireballs. They take a lot of health from me. But also remember, I can do this. This is the uh, shifter and the D band. Oh, that got me again. Alright, I did it. I did it. There we go. I just want to see how far I can go. I, I might be, I might indeed be under leveled, but I, I want to see how far I can go. Like it, it, if it starts to become really overwhelming, I'm fine with just leaving and saving and then coming back another time. I just want to see how far I can get through. So far, I'm, I think I'm doing okay. Because I'm going through mono fluid like crazy. Oh, I wish I had known this was there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that cute little thing. He, he's an enemy. Yeah, the, the Rappies. I, I love the Rappies design in uh, PSO2. Um, they, they made them even cuter and even more, um, anime looking. Oh!
Uh, I love you. When you play on your Xbox, do you have an Xbox Live account on there that you got when the Xbox used to be online? Because if you do, you can play this game. So did you know you can only play this game even in, in offline mode? This game won't load unless you have an Xbox Live account saved on your Xbox. You don't have it. Oh, okay. Then that means you can't play this, which is stupid. There, there's a way you can like buy a Xbox Live account from some dude on the internet. You can do that. I, I was willing to do that. If, if, if. Uh, but luckily, I was able. There was, a, there was an Xbox Live account on this Xbox that I bought. Yeah, this was this was not um This was somebody else else's Xbox too. But uh it's in really good condition, which I'm glad at. Works great. And it just so happens there was a, a live account on it. Yeah, I got lucky with that because I didn't really I didn't know about that until after I bought the Xbox. And I was like, oh wait, I need a live account? Even to play offline? What? Wow. I'm out of technical power and I just realized it. Move, move. Okay. Okay. We need to uh, stock up. Four. Ooh, I want that. Uh, I will sell the rod to... It was! Um... I'll grab these. Should I grab this? No. Oh, I'm low in cash. Oh, I don't even have enough money to buy mono fluid. I'm gonna have to sell stuff. I'll sell... I'll sell the handgun and the... I'm not using these weapons. Uh... What else can I sell that I would make money with? I don't want to sell the mono grinder, the tri grinder, but I need to. Uh, you would create a lobby, and then people would uh, join up in the lobby. And then you could create, like, teams, yeah. One person would choose the quest, and then up to four people could um, join in. So, yeah. So, like, yeah, at some point, I will... Maybe I can mod my X... I don't know if there's private servers on the Xbox version. There might. If anybody knows, let me know. Um, at some point, I might mod the Xbox One, and who knows? Maybe I can play this online with other people. That would be cool.
Ooh, I got the uh, the new fire one. That's cool. Yeah, something like that. Oh no. Run. Oh. Did you see that? One little slither of health I had. <laughs> Whoa. That was shocking. My poor mag. I have not been feeding it at all. I just have not been thinking about it. Uh... I want to get something good. I have not gotten anything. Yes, it's uh, I have it. It's in PSO2 on the Xbox One. People that were part of the original beta for that were able to get a Dreamcast mag. So it's pretty cool. Just have a little Dreamcast just hanging out over your shoulder. Okay, I'm lost now. Okay, I haven't been here yet. Now I'm lost. Where haven't I been? Oh, there was a uh, a bridge here. Did I raise the bridge? I did. Okay. Oh no, this is where I came from? Okay, so I don't go this way. Oh, okay. Here we go. Don't you just love having a map? Scooter, thank you so much for the host. Thank you for the host, I love you. The game is going well. I'm getting further than I was able to before, which is cool. I've been leveling up, so...
All right. Nothing here. Oh, no. Can't see. There's a wall in front of me. Okay. Oh, it's a lot of fun, Scooter. It's a lot of fun because I, I grew up playing it. I don't know how it would be for someone jumping in for the first time. But... It's, it's something that I've always liked. I, I started with the Dreamcast version and then I played it on the GameCube. And now I'm just discovering it on the Xbox, playing through it for the first time. Oh, I'm dead! Yeah, I just bought my Xbox like a few weeks ago, so this is new for me too. I'm really liking the Xbox. Did you see that? You see how I got murdered there, Stitch? Uh, let me... Actually, let me... I had this on the GameCube, I sold it. I sold a lot of my GameCube stuff. So, yeah, I don't have any more, but I played a lot of it when I first uh, got it, when it first came out. I remember going to Toys R Us and buying it when it first came out. Uh, sell, 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 sell. Uh, let me... By you know what, regular mono fluid is not enough, but I don't have that much money to be buying. Uh... Ugh. Okay, I'll stick to that. Uh, because my Wii plays GameCube games, so I didn't really see the need to have the GameCube. And also, I just, uh, at the time, financially, I needed the money. Because uh, I got a good deal on it because I had the um, Metroid Prime bundle and I had the original box. Um, and so I have everything. So I got a good deal to sell it. I didn't. Ha I don't have emotional attachment to the GameCube. Um, I love the GameCube, but I don't really have emotional attachment. So I just sold a lot of the stuff I had for it. Uh, when it comes to collecting, sometimes you have to like pick and choose what you love and focus on that because it can become overwhelming when you have like a collection for every console and everything i i say pick and choose the ones you you love the most and i was able to just let go of the the gamecube stuff yeah this one has four player local also i i didn't know that but it, it does Yeah, I'm using a third player, uh, third party controller. Oh, uh, wrong. No. Yeah, I'm using this, which is pretty cool. This is a um, transparent blue uh, controller just made by Hyperkin, and uh, I'm loving it. I don't like this big blank black circle in the middle, though. I, I, I want to get a sticker or something for there. But uh, other than that, I love it. Yeah, when I first got this Xbox, I was looking for a um, that controller S. I think it was. I think it's called controller. I thought it was called controller J or P or something. It's controller S. Um, I was looking for that. Couldn't find one. I saw a lot of used ones. Um, so I just thought I'll go third party. And so I'm. I'm fine with this controller. Works for me. You know what's surprising is I couldn't find any um, controller adapters because I really like controller adapters. 
I couldn't find one to like use um, on the Xbox, the original Xbox. I guess just, there was just not a demand for it. It wouldn't be cool to like use a Dreamcast controller or N64 controller or I don't know. There's different controllers on the Xbox, but that's not really a thing apparently. I saw one adapter where you could use a PS1 controller and that was it. Yeah, stitched. Maybe we should do that. I was thinking that this would be a great game for gaming conventions, but I've never seen it. People can just bring over their save file and they, you know, boot up their character and then, you know, I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing, if that could be possible, but I feel like this would be a cool um, convention game. I was talking to the Deviant about doing something with Splatoon. Uh, at the next, like, retro world. Uh, but I think this would be cool, too. I agree. What? I'm missing a switch? What the heck? Oh, jeez. I agree, Scooter. We need our own gaming convention. Ow. Ow. I don't know what that switch was for. Was that the one for this door? It was! Uh, strength? Yes. It's not impossibly hard. It's not, um, Battletoads hard. But, um, it's beatable. Why? You were thinking of getting it? I've streamed it before. I, I own a copy of it. It's on the Switch. I don't think you have a Switch strength. But it's, it's on the Switch NES app. I'm lost. Let me go this way. The last stage is really difficult, yes. Oh. I couldn't see because of the wall. The wall blocked me. I'm gonna keep an eye out for a decent deal on a GameCube, please let me know. Um, uh, I remember they were giving away GameCubes like crazy. Like you can get away, because GameCubes are just very easy to find, to be honest. The last I looked, maybe they're not, but I, I, I thought GameCubes were not worth much. You can get one pretty cheap anywhere, I feel. Have you been having trouble finding one, Scooter? Hmm. 